Hey guys and welcome back to Down Under. Today we're going to show you how to control your Apple TV with your Google Home. Now, when I say control, I don't mean fully control the Apple TV. It can't really do much. We will show you what it can do, but basically all it can do, if you're on YouTube and you're watching a YouTube video, you can just say, hey Google, skip, and it'll go to the next video. Um, so that it can do, as well as if you're watching something on iTunes and Netflix, simply you can ask it to pause it, change the volume, and it'll change the volume on your Apple TV, and it'll do all a bunch of other stuff as well. So let's get into it, but you will not be able to ask it to open like iTunes. Tenal access, it's not going to do it. It's going to basically just say, we cannot see any active Chromecast. So that's the um, area that you're going to get right there. But we'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to ask Google a question to get the Bluetooth setting to come up. So what you have to say, I think it's doing something. Hey Google, stop. So basically what you want to do, go over to settings. When you've done that, you just want to go down to remote and devices. Then you want to ask Google, hey Google, connect to Bluetooth. All right, looking for paired devices. Okay, so when it's doing that, click on Bluetooth and the device should pop up. Cannot connect to Bluetooth. Please try again later okay. or connect via the Bluetooth settings page for your device. As soon as it says that, because it's looking for my Bluetooth um, soundbar, because my Bluetooth soundbar is off, we now get the prompt at the top here. So when you click on this, you'll hear like a beep noise in a minute. I don't know if you heard that. And now you were connected. So, for example, if we go over to, let's just go to iTunes first and then we'll show you YouTube. So we'll go to uh, Movie iTunes. So just go over to your purchase. And we'll just click on this and play it. Okay, so I've played that. Now we're going to ask Google to resume it. Hey Google, resume. And it will resume it right there. Now I've just paused it for copyright reasons. Now if you're going, okay, I'm going to only hear it out of the soundbar. Uh, not the soundbar, the Google Home. Now you are 100% right. If you want to know how you can change the audio there, basically what you want to do is slide down, go to audio, and then when it says speakers, you want to click to your actual Apple TV. Now, as soon as you ask Google a question, it's going to go back to the Google Home speaker. So, for example, if we ask, hey Google, resume. It's now gone back to the um, Bluetooth speaker as the Google Home. Now, another cool thing we'll show you with the volume. Hey Google, go to volume 40%. As you see at the top, it indicates it right there. Also, you can turn the Google Home up with your Apple TV remote. So when we uh, turn the Apple TV up, and why that was airing, because I was in something. So you just got to close everything, and then you come up with the volume. As you see, that's the Bluetooth speaker there, known as the Google Home. So now when we go over to YouTube, so we'll whack over to YouTube and show you what we can do over there. Um, so if you're watching Netflix, and all you want to do is just ask it to pause it, resume it, and change the volume, that's fine. It will work perfectly, but it will not be able to select on any of these options right here. Um, I just can't do that. So, but for example, we're just going to click on a random video here. So we'll just click on this, for example. Okay, so we're in a YouTube video right here. So now what we're going to ask it, hey Google, skip. And there you go, it's going to go over to the next available video. So as you see here, and then when you tap on it, right here, it'll tell you what the next video is going to be. So if we just click, say to Google again, hey Google, Skip. It just skips it for you, which is super cool in a way. Um, works pretty well with YouTube. So another thing we can do, I've just paused it on the Apple TV. Hey Google, resume. And I'll resume it for you. So I just wanted to show you, you can basically just do that cool little features. Even if you have Apple Music, you can, um, when you play it on the Apple TV, you can ask it to skip and so on and pause. Um, basically all the same features apply. And now we'll go over to Netflix to show you what actually does work with Netflix. Um, so we'll go over there and play something. So I'll just click on anything here. So, hey Google, resume. Hey Google, pause. So it does that pretty well right there. And, and then you can go, hey Google, 
volume 90. And there you go. Now, we'll show you this as well when we change the audio over. So as soon as, again, as soon as you ask it a prompt, it's gonna go back to the Bluetooth audio, so keep that in mind. So if we go, hey Google, resume. All it's already gone back to the Bluetooth audio right there. So that's basically everything with how to control your Apple TV with the Google Home. And I'm hoping this helped you guys a bit on if you just want to do that cool little feature, like that is super cool. Just say you don't really want to have your remote when you're watching Netflix and you just want to ask it to change the volume and pause and then resume. If you're going somewhere, it can easily do that without using the um, control. But it's all up to you if you really want to do that and I just wanted to make this video because uh, just in case you guys didn't know, you can actually use your Google Home to sort of control your Apple TV. So thanks again for watching down on it and if it did help at all, let us know down below and if you've got any other questions about it, you can send us a comment or email us. Thanks again for watching Down Under. Hold it right there before you go think about subscribing and liking the video. And thanks again for watching Down Under.